I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog, brought to you by DiscNation.com, one nation under par. Today we're in Manitowoc, Wisconsin for the Manitowoc in the Park, which is a B-tier tournament, and uh, one of the, well, more prestigious stops on the Wisconsin tour. I'm joined by, uh, well, Super Iron Man and PDGA traveler and player Tom McManus, PDGA number 1276. So immediately, Tom, everyone wants to know, when did you sign up to get PDGA number 1276? I'm thinking 1979, might have been 1980. Wow, 79 or 80. Uh, I, I was born in 78, Tom, but that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. So you're a huge supporter of the PDGA and uh, made it a lifetime career. Tom won the 2007, 08, and 09 Grandmaster Champion uh, points, overall points. So that you travel a lot. What, what do you love so much about traveling to tournaments? I, uh, I just like the competition. I like the guys. I love coming up into Wisconsin, the Wisconsin tour event. The guys are always super. You're spending three, four hours with guys every day. You know, different guys in the morning, different guys in the afternoon, but it's always a good time. Tom travels extensively, obviously, to win all those awards for, uh, for the points. And uh, you play in a couple different divisions when you do so. Uh, how does that factor into you? change up your game plan at all, whether it's the division you're in, does that really matter to you? I think that I'm more patient when I'm playing with the intermediate guys, just because they're younger and they're not as experienced, they don't always know the rules. When I play with the uh, advanced masters or advanced grandmasters, those guys are been playing a long time, they're familiar with the rules, they're a little more easy going. And that is perfect because I want to talk about a rule we saw today uh, here at Manitowoc, which is when a disc comes to rest on top of the basket during a putt or a drive or at any point, you must just take your disc, uh, take your mini or your marker and put it below the basket, take the disc and then put it in. You have not holed out, you have not completed the hole until you've got it into the basket. So getting it stuck on top as one of our videos here showed, uh, unfortunately doesn't count. Tom, what's probably one of the craziest things as everyone's watching uh, some of the highlights from today's action, what are some of the crazier things you've seen out on the course? You know, Amazing shots or whatever? I've, I've seen a little bit of everything. Seen multiple aces in a tournament. Uh, probably for me, the, the highlight that I've been on involved in a course was a couple years ago up at Sandy Point when John Drummond hit an ace and I was on the complete other side of the course. There was 150 people watching and I, I, you could just hear the, the roar, and I just knew that somebody had an ace over the water at, up at Sandy Point. That, that would have to be it. That's funny. Just even telling me that, I just got chills. I was up there that weekend, and uh, it is an amazing place to be. What's next? I mean, you've made this a lifetime. Are you playing disc golf forever, or is there other activities that you get into? Until I, uh, I'm completely broke down, I'm going to stick with disc golf. All right. Well, Tom McManus, PDGA 1276, you got a little rule clarification today and some highlights from some of our amateur players that were out here competing for the uh, championship today at the AM Day of the Manitowoc in the Park. So for Tom McManus, who's uh, Thanks, kind of sir. an Illinois and Wisconsin guy, I'm the Disc Golf Guy and I'll be at Manitowoc in the Park next year. Join the nation, Disc Nation.